Welcome to today's evening about open source in automotive. My name is Julian Kunkel. I'm a lecturer at the University of Reading. And this evening today is co-organized with Daniel Broomhead. Daniel, can you say hello as well? Hello. Uh, I helped organize this meeting with Julian. Um, yeah, it's on open source and automotive. Right. So just to briefly introduce the open source specialist group, what we are doing in our future meetings before we get started. So the open source specialist group is one of the greatest and biggest bodies about open source hardware and software. It is at more than about 1,500 people in the UK. Probably it is the biggest one in the UK, as I, as I was told. And it's part of the BCS, which is, which is the British Computer Society, which are basically um, the, I'd say, expert, experts and professionals in the area of computer science. Right. So we organize on a monthly basis evenings. And our next future meetings are open source and open data in March. On April, we have inclusivity in open source, and in May, open source in space, which we are very excited about, and in June, PowerPC. Also, we support and endorse additional activities related to open source and open hardware and anything open, basically. And we are working to release some new web page and update our affiliation way of endorsement. Yeah, and without further ado, um, I give the word to Daniel, who will say something about today's topic. With the ever increasing advancements in technology and the constant desire to force technology into any situation where it can possibly go, there comes a need for software. This holds true for the realm of automobiles and vehicles too. The influx of electronics and technology into the many aspects of the industry creates opportunities for the prevalence of open source software. From the computers and the microprocessors controlling the vehicle to its luxuries and peripherals, its many sensors and its many facilities, even spanning to the technology arising in autonomous vehicles. Furthermore, the increased use of software and especially the increased use of open source requires an extreme increase in the testing and validation. Therefore, open source software is not only leveraged inside the car, but also throughout the research development and testing stages. Open source is the driving force in modern technological advancements, so it only makes sense that this is being extended to be part of the driving force for the public. And with the increased demand for more features and functionality inside vehicles, the opportunity arises for open source to claim its place. With every connection and interconnection, with every flashing light or warning sound and every single electronic feature from speed monitoring to fuel economy tracking, there is software behind it. And this enables the possibility of the software being open source, offering the countless advantages to very little detriment. Throughout the evening, you will get to hear about many of the uses of open source in the automotive domain, ranging from infotainment systems to diagnostic tools to security and penetration testing. Yeah, so just to add to this statement from Daniel, for me personally, I would say a car security is for me very important. And as we know, the computerization and electronics are everywhere. I strongly believe in open source to provide trust and security if I have a car, right, and riding my car. And I also believe that modifications should be empowered. And lastly, I think that open source fuels the establishment of new business models regarding cars. So now to our agenda. So we have four fabulous speakers. The first one is Niels Weiss, who is doing a PhD in Germany about automotive penetration testing with open source software. And the next one is Ashcon, who talks about a cross-platform open source ECU diagnostics. Then we talk about open source software in automotive, a point of view from the car industry by Dr. Mario uh, De Felice. And at last, we have a nice talk about automotive great Linux that drives the innovation and collaboration by Dan Corshi from the US.